When is it appropriate to use deadly force in your own defense? The case in Florida where 17 year old Trayvon Martin was shot by a neighborhood watch volunteer George Zimmerman has put the national spotlight on that question. Zimmerman claims self defense. Each state has its own version of a self defense law, including Texas. Six News reporter Lindsay Kovacevich is in the studio to explain the Texas law commonly called the Castle Doctrine. Lindsay. Kelly, Texas has had use of deadly force laws for quite some time, but it wasn't until September 1st of 2007 that a revision was made. It's called the Castle Doctrine. It states that a person does not need to retreat before using deadly force, that is firing a gun or using another weapon, and you don't have to be a victim. If you're a witness to someone else committing a crime, the law allows the use of deadly force. A November 2007 shooting in Pasadena near Houston involved those circumstances. Joe Horn shot and killed two men burglarizing his neighbor's home. He wasn't charged. Attorney David Barlow says there are many other factors that have to be considered in order to use deadly force. You can't use force that is greater than necessary. Um, it's statutorily, it's prohibited that words alone are not sufficient provocation. You can call me every name in the book and I can't use deadly force against you. Um, you can't walk up to me and tell me you're going to slap me and me shoot you because that is force that is greater than necessary. If you have a uh, concealed handgun license and you have a permit, just because you're carrying a concealed handgun with you does not mean you have a right to use it anywhere or everywhere that you want to. Barlow says under the law, a judge or jury must look at whether a reasonable person would have acted in the same way under those circumstances. Florida also has a castle doctrine. Barlow believes it doesn't really apply to the Trayvon Martin case in which George Zimmerman, a, neighbor, a neighborhood watch volunteer, shot and killed the teen. I don't see the castle doctrine, their stand your ground that they call it. I don't see the fact that you do not have to retreat in Florida. I don't see that having made a big difference. In, in this case. What I know of it, I, I think the same thing would have happened whether they had this law or not. You know, now I don't know all the details, obviously, so, but I, I just don't see this making that big of a deal in what would have happened down there. Mm -hmm. I think the actions of both parties would have been the same no matter what. I think whether they prosecute or don't prosecute, George Zimmerman would have been the same no matter what. To read more about the law in Texas, log on to our website, kfdm.com. Reporting in the studio, Lindsay Kovacevic, KFDM 6 News.